imagine you are a female gorilla and you have a baby. The baby is in your lap. How does that baby get to your nipple? Not by itself. It will never get there. It has to be brought there. And so the mother needs to know what to do. And, and if at a zoo there is a female gorilla pregnant and they have never had any babies there, what they do is they bring in a human mother who nurses her baby a couple of days in front of the gorilla so that they see how that's done. An example is very important to them. So, so it's really for the young males and the young females, they're, they're developing skills that they need later in life. And it's universal. It's, it's in all the primates that have been studied. And in all human societies that I know of, young girls are more involved in childcare and the, and the young boys are, are more on their own and, and do a lot of this wrestling business. They, they like the mock fighting thing. Male primates like male chimps and bonobos, they do very little with infants in their adult life. But if a mother dies and there's all of a sudden an orphan, we know that they can do it. And they, they pick them up and sometimes they, they may carry them for four or five years. I mean, this is not a minor business for them. They, they really become the caretaker. And so they have that capacity, which I think in, in human society nowadays, we are trying to rely on that. I mean, we, males have paternal tendencies. Is that, yeah, sure, they're predispositions, but we, we are cultural and we're also conscious beings. Both uh, primates and humans can learn behavior and, and, and exhibit it if necessary.